My mistress eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wise, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Okay. Now, you're starting off with my mistress' eyes. Hmm. And there's a problem with that. Hmm. Because mistress has the accent, the stress on the first syllable. Oh, I see. So. Instead of my mistress eyes are nothing like the sun, which is a perfect iambic pentameter line, you've complicated but my mistress eyes are nothing like the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can fix that and give it sort of what I mean, I know why you're comparing uh, why you're um, stressing my Um, but I don't think it's so important. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you, you stressed several of the pronouns, I and, and I know you're, you're making the comparison of, of the way I, I see my beautiful mistress and the way others talk falsely about their Yes. Mistress, right? Mm -hmm. But I think because there are so many of the pronouns, I don't think you need to, uh, I think the cumulative effect will take care of itself. But hmm. also, you have this surprise at the end which makes that comparison between how you feel and the way others, how you speak of your mistress and other, the way others, right at the end, and it's a surprise. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Hmm. So if you're, if you're constantly pointing out, stressing the pronouns, the, um, the surprise at the end doesn't quite have the same impact. Hmm. Try that again. Makes sense, yeah. Okay. Now remember, when we're bending this stuff, we're bending it to, to make it live, to make it live in our souls so that we can, we can have some connection to it. So we're not, we're not do, uh, speaking a form we're not speaking a structure, we're speaking thoughts. And actually we're speaking sub subtext. Hmm. So you can do something like, my mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Something like that. Uh, which is totally human. <laughs> totally human, but uh, doesn't screw up the the lawfulness of the of the form. Yes. Right? Okay. Huh. Okay. Mm. 
my mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Much better. Much better. Now, there, you're giving me a kind of um, objective, you're giving me a kind of, um, the only word that comes to mind at the moment is humor, a sense of humor about it. And I think that's exactly right. I think you can go further with it. Hmm. Yeah. Every time you say, I've seen roses, I've seen this, but my mistress is, doesn't have anything like that. <laughs> I've smelled this and this and this, but not from her. And, and you know, you just, it, it, there's this build, this growing crescendo of where you totally, um, you totally uh, take any kind of sentimental, poetic uh, description of her and say, that's not her, that's not her, that's mm -hmm. not her. But at the end, right? And I like what you're doing at the end. It's, 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 it's um, heartfelt, it's passionate, which is what it should be. Uh, and so, what might seem like if she was there next to you and you were telling a bunch of people, you know, you just heard some guys say, you know, my wife, she's the greatest cook in the world. I got to tell you, when we got married, my wife, she, uh, she, buys, she buys the finest perfumes and she bedecks our bed with roses and we make love and blah blah blah, blah and it's just fantastic <laughs> right and then the next guy goes on and on and on and yeah. then it comes to you and this is what you say now how you say that can take can have the effect of two things one debunking their bullshit two raising your wife to a real yet more admirable position than what they were doing with their with their ladies, right? Mm -hmm. But it's done with a sense of humor. It's you're outflanking them, actually. You're flanking them hmm. instead of a frontal attack by saying, Oh, come on guys, that's bullshit. Don't tell me that's bullshit about your wife. <laughs> My wife is much better than you. That's a frontal attack, right? Right, yeah. But you're doing it in a much more witty, flanking way, which is meant to crush them. Crush the, crush the, the, the sentimental bullshit out of them and say, look, come on, this is what's real. Yeah, this that's... This is what's really admirable. That's a little more specific. I had a slightly more general idea, like I was roasting my mistress in front of a lot of people, but it sort of contradicted um, the way it starts off. But I think the image I had, well, the image I had when it starts off is I'm saying this after a bunch of other people said some really nice things, some very pretty, wonderful, but all fake things yeah. about 
their mistresses or yeah. mistress. Um, so, yeah, but I think that's more specific. It's almost, it's you're roasting everybody else who just came before you, and it takes the form of, on the surface, discrediting your wife, but it's really um, glorifying her in the most real sense, while at the same time brushing this other stuff off as fake. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you're close. You're, you're getting very close to that. Try it again. Okay. <clears throat> My mistress eyes? Sorry. The William Shatner thing going on there. <laughs> <laughs> My mistress eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Simplified. Simplified. Simplified, okay. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. Hold on. I think you're starting too high okay. in your register. Start lower. And don't get... Don't give it away that you're that you're going to that you're on flank and don't make them make them really believe that you're slamming her. Okay, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see. Save the surprise. Hmm. Don't make it so straightforward. I see what you mean. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with going, my mistress, unstressed stress. That's okay. If you want, but if you want to do that, I mean, it's simplifying, right? The main thing is that your choice has to has to be effective, and you it, it, you have to you have to uh, make your your choice a successful choice that you can do over and over and over without sounding uh, as if you're doing it by rote. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sounding a little. This, this last go through, I, I want to stop you because it was sounding a little um, recited. Hmm. And part of it was because I think you started too high. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that so much, but you know, I, I will say one thing I, I was trying to do was create a contrast between my mistress' eyes and our nothing. Yes, you have to do that. And so I was thinking part of the contrast would be um, starting off higher and then going really low on our nothing. Um, or you could do it just the opposite. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> because then we know what key you're in, see? If you start off high like this, we don't know what key you're in. But if you start off here, we go, oh, okay, he's in the key of C. So that when you go up, we're not confused because we know where you started. However, if you, if you stay up here all the way through the poem, we're, we're, we're waiting for some kind of, it, it's too nebulous, it, the, the key isn't clear. I see. It's like in a great piece of music, the key is always clear. Hmm. This, that's why they put it in the opus, the title of the opus. Opus 49 in C major by, you know. Hmm. So if you're starting off in C major, if you say C major and then you start off on a note that says, that doesn't say C, C major, we're, we're confused. Don't be confused, Chance. It look like I'm confusing you. No, I'm not confused. I'm just trying to think of how to... No. Well, the, way, the, the tone that you have right now is exactly where you should start. Oh, okay. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. I mean, I'm just doing it the opposite, right? Right, yeah. It's interesting to hear it that way, because... You have that contrast. Yeah. Hmm. But you can also start in your first register 
Higher in your first register. I mean, not in your second register. Higher in your first register. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. You still have that contrast, right? Mm-hmm. Where you started higher than... Hmm. Yeah. And that's why... That's why a good, flexible voice is so important. Because the intervals that... The intervals that you choose are more important than whether it's starting off low and high or high and low. Mm -hmm. What's important is that you start off, I think, in your first register, so people will say, oh, that's chance. Hmm. There's no possibility that you can be anybody else saying hmm. this. Hmm. That's chance. That makes a lot of sense. I, I, yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Okay. Huh. Okay, go ahead. Okay. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. Hold up. It started off wrong. Hmm. My mistress eyes, I don't know, I, I mean, it's hard for me to recreate what you did, but hmm. it, there was a falseness to it. Yeah. Simplify it, and you weren't in your first register. I know you're probably a tenor, right? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. But don't forget that, that uh, a tenor has a low note that's all the way down into the bass register, the, the A. Hmm. The low A. An hmm. octave and a half below uh, middle C. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. So when you're speaking in your normal voice, you sound, you, 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 you're, you sound, uh, your first register is much lower than when you start the poem. You have that available to you. Bum, ba ba bum, ba ba bum. My mistress, I. <laughs> you want to, right? Right. But that's the bottom of your, of your first register. Mm. Um, your first register goes all the way up to C, middle C. My mistress, I. My mistress, I. My mistress, I. My mis. My mistress, I. That's. That's the span of your of your uh, range. First, that's all first register. Yeah. Oh wow. Huh. Go ahead. Try it again. Okay. <clears throat> My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. But the way you're saying it is that my mistress' eyes... Hmm. My mistress' eyes? Yes. Hmm. Because you're not... The, the subject isn't about you, my mistress' right. eyes. The subject is about her. Right. My mistress' eyes... So, so chance, always keep in mind that you're tuning as you go along, hmm. the tuning. So even if you started low, my mistress' eyes are nothing, look how high I've got, are nothing like the sun. <laughs> Coral is far more red than her lips red. Right? Constantly tuning so that you never stay uh, monotonous. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is great. You just play around with it. I don't know. <laughs> this is really good. Okay. <clears throat> the main thing is the thought, though. Stay on the thought. Mm -hmm. Don't get. Don't lose the thought because you're thinking of tuning and all this. Stay on the thought. Right. Okay. But right there, where you just said right, right. right. <laughs> My mistress' eyes 
are nothing like the sun. Good. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damask to red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. But no such roses see I in her cheeks. Again, mm. you hit the eye. The eye, and you, so yeah. you keep going back to you. Ah, I it's see, not I see. about you. Hmm. That was going so well. Hmm. Take it again from, um, I have seen. Okay. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Good, with false compare. With false compare. Hmm. With false compare. Not with false compare. False comparison. False comparison. False comparison. False comparison. Hmm. It's a lie with, right? A false, false comparison. It's not false compare. False is too important to, to be, um, to be overpowered by compare. We'll get compare. Mm-hmm. It also rhymes, right? Right. Mm -hmm. We'll hear it. That was much better. Wasn't that much easier in your first register like that? Uh, yeah, it was. It's easier because your mind now is not being your mind now is not being um, asked to do tasks that it doesn't want to do. Your mind is your mind is always saying no. Simplify. Simplify. Yeah. And then when you ask it to do stuff that seems superfluous to the actual task, then you're building an edifice that is not going to stay through a, a, a windstorm. It's going to, you know, it's going to fall. But if you start in your first register like that, like you did, and you tune as you go along, then the thoughts become clearer, your, your mind becomes clearer, your intention becomes clearer, and before you know it, you've gotten to the end of the sonnet. <laughs> and you've accomplished everything that you wanted to. Hmm. Try it one more time. Okay. Now remember, it's always important. Don't try to redo it the way you did it a successful okay. way. Okay, right, right. Any good, well-seasoned, well-trained actor can do a great performance night after night without trying to do it the same way that he did, right? Right, right. Okay. Okay. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I. <laughs> Ah, I caught good. it that time. <laughs> yeah. I always want to stop there so I can make in her cheeks come out, but it's a bad it's a bad decision. It's kind of ingrained, but Yeah, yeah. Um 
But no such roses. No, no, it came because you, you were playing that thing, uh, I've got to contrast me with what those other guys said. But that's not really the, the, that's not really what this, this thing is about, this sonnet. It's not about you and them. It's about her. It's always about her. See, it's well, funny because no the, the the way no you do to jump on the pronoun, mm -hmm. but no such roses see I in her cheeks. It's not even it's not even on the stress in this perfect iambic pentameter line. Now you have a, a string of monosyllabic words, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And that's what I mean that you bend it but you bend it lawfully. And only if the author has given you a clue that you can do that. Um, but no, it's a monosyllabic, it's a monosyllabic series. So instead of the rhythm going ba-bum, 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 which you have the option to do because it reads that way, it scans that way, ba-bum, uh, and, um, but no such roses, see, no, which one am I? Yeah. But no such roses, see I in her cheeks. Hmm. Roses is the only polysyllabic word there, right? Yeah. It's right in the middle. Huh. No such roses, see I in her cheeks. See I in her cheeks. But no such roses, see I in her cheeks. Stay off of the eye. Mm -hmm. That was going really well. Take it again. I have seen roses. Damn okay. It. I have seen roses damasked, red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry. I kind of threw everything away, but I thought it was just. By the way, you're you're uh, either standing too far or something. I can barely hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I think I got a little a little close. That's all right. Try it again. Okay. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And also the second roses. Hmm. But no such roses. I have seen roses. Hmm. It's okay there because you haven't talked about roses, right? Right, right. It's a new, it's a new thing. Hmm. I have seen roses damaged red and white. But no such roses the eye of her cheek. Hmm. Okay. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. Ah, 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 ah. You gave me the emphasis on the second roses. I did. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses. Doesn't that sound false to you? It sounds overstated. It's overstated because, yeah, because you're emphasizing the same word and the font has progressed. Yeah, it's redundant. Yeah. Again. Hmm. Okay. I have seen roses damaged to red and white, but no such roses. No such but no such roses. It's hard to throw it away because I feel like I'm going there. I don't have the... Yeah. Let me just try it again. I'm not... I'm going to the wrong place. Stay on the thought. If you stay on the thought, you'll see. Your mind will tell you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have seen roses damasked red and white. But no such roses see I and her cheeks. <laughs>
I just went back to the old way I was doing it. Ah, oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm just doing something funny here. I, I, I think I'm trying really hard not to think about it. But I'm thinking more about it because I'm trying not to think about it. Go back to the thought. Okay, the thought. Go back to the thought. Okay. Remember, when you're thought. praying, you're not thinking about the words you're using. Hmm. You're thinking about communicating with God. So communicate with God. Don't think about the words that you're using. Hmm. Okay. I have seen roses, damasked, red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. That was fine. Okay. Her cheeks, because even though you, 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 um, even though I heard I, cheeks was, was inflected higher. So it didn't have the, um, eminent, it was, it didn't have the preeminent. And the font was clear. The mm -hmm. I and her cheeks. It's much different than the eye in her cheek. But no such roses see eye in her cheek. Hmm. But no such roses see eye in her cheek. Hmm. One is an emphasis on the eye that means nothing. And one is perfectly lawful because cheeks is what is giving, getting the eminence over eye. Hmm. You, you tuned it. You tuned it. Maybe you weren't planning to, to give I as much emphasis as you did, but you corrected it by giving more emphasis to cheek. Hmm. It was a good tuning. Try it again. Okay. I have seen roses, damasked, red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Much better. Much better. Hmm. Um, so Chance, you've got a good voice. Always work on enunciation, which means open your mouth more. Okay. Because that is the um, that is the disease that modern that that we live in uh, constantly in our contemporary life. Hmm. It's almost like people begrudge having to talk. Hmm. But you have to enjoy, enjoy the, the sound and feel of talking. Hmm. Open your mouth, use your teeth, your lips, your tongue, hmm. the breath. Enjoy it. Besides the fact that you have this wonderful little sonnet here that is a, a, a one of the great creative uh, inventions of mankind. Hmm. One more time. Have fun with it. Okay. First register. First register. Okay. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral 
is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breast are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. Much better. Right, Joe? Yep. Much better chance. Mm. Now look, um, work on your voice in the in in the sense that there are there are notes that you often that you go to one one too many times. So mm. instead of so instead of the fourth and fifth and the the, um, the intervals, change up the intervallic leaps hmm. so that it's not always the same intervallic leap that you're using. Mm -hmm. My mistress' eyes, coral is far. If snow, if snow be white, right? Hmm. I'm giving the same, you can hear the same intervallic leap. Yeah, right? I see it, yeah. My mistress' eyes are nothing but the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hair be wires, black wires grow on her head. I don't I don't know if I used any note that was the same. Huh. So, so think of sevens, you know, the sevens. Can you hear that? Uh play it again? Yeah. Is that one note or two? It sounds like Yeah, that's a stupid thing I can't get out of my mind. I hear it, uh, yeah. It's uh right? Uh huh. Da, the seventh would be na 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 na. So you have the, all those little gradations of notes. Wait, by 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 seventh, do you mean half step, or is that something different? Well, it's a it's a clashing note when they're together. Ah, oh, I see. But so so an interval could go from. Or or Oh wow. And that will if you play around with that, then your voice is gonna get even much more flexibility, much more uh uh it, it's gonna uh, uh, arrest the ear that much more. Wow. You think about this type well yeah, I guess you do. I it's kind of, it's interesting. It's very musical, the way you're talking about it. It's the same as music. Yeah. Exactly the same. Because we hear it. We hear it when we hear the same interval over and over again. Uh, um, it becomes, um, it, it loses mm -hmm. the effect. My mistress' eyes, coral is far more red, hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I see it. I see it. I see it now. So try it one more time and see what notes you can come up with. Okay. 
to keep it from being um, redundant in that sense. Uh, right. The same old intervallic leaps, okay? Right, yeah. Try it one more time. Oh, wow. <laughs> It'll open up a whole new world for you. No, I can already <laughs> see it. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I'll try it. <clears throat> My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. That was good. Okay, I'll just keep, keep going. Keep, keep going. Okay. If snow be white, but then her breast are done. Okay, I'm, I'm just having a hard time. It's like trying to pick crayons out of a big room full of crayons. I don't even know what I'm going for now. <laughs> exactly. I didn't have that image before. It's kind of... Okay, let me just try it, try it again. My mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral... It's far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. <laughs> I just forgot the next line now. Yeah, um, it's okay, it's going well. And in some perfumes, is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks? I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belied with false compare. There you go. You're getting there. You started hearing it, right? Yeah, it, was, it felt arbitrary, but I felt like I had a lot to work with that I didn't have before. Yeah, yeah. It was just like a whole lot to choose from. I didn't even know where to start. Yes, yes. So the thing to do is, I mean, a tape recorder is such a valuable thing to do because we can hear our voice. Hmm. Use the tape recorder when you're working on your sonnets. Hmm. And that will, then you'll start, hear, start to hear the redundancy of the same intervallic lead. And then you'll start find, you'll start hearing that, and, and you'll start making amends by finding some other leap, some yeah. other note, right? Um, but it it all has to start with the thought. A, a, an interesting way to do it is starting off like, my mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If hair, if snow be white, <laughs> but then her breasts are done, you know, go up and down the scale like that in half, half tones like that. Really? So start to hear what's available to you. Wow. Just as an exercise. And then when you do it, when you do it for real, you'll start to hear possibilities that you, that you hadn't considered before. Robert, this is just like painting. Yeah. No, what you're talking about right now, this is the problem when you leave drawing and go to painting because now you have color and it's all arbitrary at first. You're just sort of putting colors everywhere and then yeah. slowly you start to build a repertoire of color schemes and you find out how to break the color scheme. You start to think in terms of how you're going to create a structure so that you can make a contrast. But right. when you're just doing black and white drawings, you don't even think of that. You're sort of working with contrast, volume, you know, space. Yeah.
but you added this other dimension in now, which... Yeah, yeah. It creates a crisis, but a healthy one. Always. Crisis <laughs> is... <laughs> but it shouldn't be a crisis because your mind has now been opened to another possibility, so that's exciting. Yes. For more excitement, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's the thing to do, Chance, because you never want to be satisfied with where your voice is. You always want to give it more flexibility, more color, more possibility, so that your communication is never dull. That's the worst and the least effective uh, of communication is dull, monotone, no passion. I mean, would you ever be persuaded by somebody that says, hey, can I talk to you about LaRouche? Yeah, LaRouche. He wants to start the Nawapa. What's Nawapa? Well, it's when you bring the water down from Canada and the water up from Mexico and you make new cities and flower the desert. Wow. Uh, and, uh, I've heard that so many we gotta, times. We've got we to uh, get Pete Obama. <laughs> got to get out. You know, we can't, we, there's no way we can leave him in there. He's going to destroy the country. Also, you know, uh, Romney's no better. We call him Obamney. Ha <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> a lack of passion, a lack of, of um, a, a, a lack of awareness of your voice. And that's what performance is. It's taking all those people sitting down, getting ready to listen to you, yeah. and resting them immediately. Immediately. My mistress eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. I mean, there's rhythmic things that you can play with too, right? Mm -hmm. Within the structure, but you have to know what the structure is that's given yes. to you. Iambic pentameter. Wow. And it's just, it's just taking the time to investigate. Wow. So come back. Okay, come yes, back. absolutely. Come back with the sonnets. It's in good shape. You know, it, 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 it's clear. And, and you're, you're, flanking, you're flanking it more and more the more you do it. Um, so bring it back. Okay. Having worked on these little details, okay? Okay. And don't worry, don't worry about whether it's going to be perfect, whether it's, that's not important. A small step is better than a sideways step, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good work, Chan. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you review the tape. Yes, absolutely.